Hey everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am nifty. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here getting ready to watch the men's national championship basketball game. Got nothing to do right now, so I thought I'd do a daily delivery about the importance of basketball to the Big 12. But first, reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like our content. Hit a thumbs up if you like this video and leave a comment about the video if you feel a need to say that the host is very attractive. On with the DD and more about the importance of the Big 12 getting paid properly for its basketball product because Brett Yormark, the new commissioner, has discovered that the networks have been taking advantage of the Big 12 and probably other conferences by underpaying dramatically for the basketball product. One estimation that I read said as much as 25 million a school for basketball only if he separated football and basketball rights. It's a way Brett Yormark hopes to close the gap on the more significant football conferences, if you wanna say it that way, the Big 10 and the SEC, because they get paid for those football rights and we all know they are very valuable. But we've also wondered why isn't basketball more valuable? There's more content there. Not any one game will get the kind of ratings of a big football game, but still there's an additive value over the course of the three months, four months of basketball season. And Brett Yormark cracked the code. He plans, we think, to separate men's and women's basketball out into a separate product for media rights sale. And I said women's. Did you see the ratings for the national championship game on the women's side that came out? Just a hair under 10 million viewers, crushing the former record. In fact, this number was so significant, it beat out most of the NBA in the regular season, even the playoffs, except for the finals, most of Major League Baseball, except for the World Series, even the playoffs. That number exceeded every NASCAR event since the 2017 Daytona 500. It's a big number. And it proves probably why exactly women's basketball has a little bit more value than maybe what's been sold also. We'll see if he can wrap that all up, but UConn really is an intriguing addition to the Big 12. It certainly will add value on the men's basketball side, and if there is value to the TV entities with women's basketball, UConn women are as big a brand as it gets. UConn football, not so much, but it would address that Eastern corridor with one more Eastern school. I don't know, but Brett Yormark's thinking of all the moves. And when you start thinking about the schools that might get added to the conference, you gotta go beyond football, because he sees something bigger here for this conference, a coast-to-coast -coast basketball powerhouse to go with some really good football. And when I say basketball, I mean both men and women.